we ready to go, Amy? <laughs> so Amy and I are going to make some bread for us today. So we're going to make naan breads. I'm going to do a couple of extra things, but we're going to teach Amy how to, um, how to make naan breads quite simply at home. Now, for those of you that can't understand a word we're saying, we might get uh, Colin <laughs> to put some subtitles on this later on. And, um, and there'll be a few words in there that you might not understand, so we might teach people how to yeah. pronounce yogurt. That's it, yogurt. Yogurt, yeah. So, okay, so we're going to both use food processors, so I've got one here, so I'll get Amy to put her double kind of food processor there, so. Yeah, brilliant, we've both got that straight away. So, what we've got here, we've got 300 grams of flour, so we'll probably put a recipe up on the, um, on the YouTube with this, they'll get the Colin because Colin's far better at that than us. So we've got 300 grams of flour each. We've weighed that out before so we're not boring you showing you how to weigh flour out. And we're both going to put a pinch of salt in that. So there's a pinch of salt for me, a pinch for Amy. And then we've got 200 mils of water and the secret with the water is to make sure it's blood temperature. So if you put your finger in it, you'll really should feel nothing. It shouldn't feel cold, it shouldn't feel warm, it should just feel blood temperature. And then we're going to put one teaspoon each of yeast into that. So if you're using the sachets at home, that will just be one sachet. So I'll get Amy to put some in there. Okay, so that's our yeast. So we want to bring that yeast to life now. So I think I've got some sugar around somewhere. So sugar's probably the the quickest thing to bring that to life, so it's instant energy for the yeast. So I'm going to put a teaspoon of sugar in mine, then for you. And that's going to hopefully get that yeast working. So I'm just going to give it a little stir. There you go. And then hopefully that yeast will come to life. So while we're waiting for that, then we can put our Flour, and I'm just using plain flour here, so you can use whatever flour you've got at home if you've got like at the supermarket at the moment. If you've only got if you've only got self-raising, use self-raising. If you see baker's flour out there, it's fantastic baker's flour, it's got more protein in it. So when you need your bread, it stays exactly where you put it. But yeah, whatever flour you've got, throw it in, it's all that fun making it really not exactly the, the final product. Okay, so the bread that Amy's going to make is a naan bread, so that's a flat bread. So we don't need it to rise too much. Mine kind of is going to need to rise, so I might leave my yeast for another couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. But I think we're going to get Amy nice. now to throw her 200 mils of water into there. Get that yeast in. Yeah. And then we're going to put that on the lowest possible thing. So if you pull that over on the right hand side there's a little lever there. Yeah. Beautiful. And I'll do the same with mine. And I think my yeast is starting to come to life. So and obviously the more yeast you put in there, the, the greater your rise is going to be. So we're going to pop this onto number one there. A couple of years ago I did this with a grade 10 class and put it straight up to 10 and <laughs> all the whole thing. So put it onto number one, has it come on? Nope. No, so Okay, we just want to combine this then, so we can probably keep clicking it up now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a little shake. Okay, so that's Yeah. 
any other words that have got you on any vitamin? Have you learned vitamin yet? Yeah, just normal vitamin, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you haven't added a Y to it? No. Is it to vitamin? No, no, still vitamin. Still it's quite vitamin. funny when I'm doing a den here, every den that I do, you know, as soon as I say vitamin, every kid breaks out yeah, laughing. They love it. So I have to keep reminding them that the language is English. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, they're, they're looking pretty good actually. I think we can get those out, so we might switch those off now. And then just push that little lever at the back there. Pop it up. Mm -hmm. And so what we've got now is two nice pieces of bread now. It might feel a bit sticky. If yeah. you want, you can put some flour on your hands like that. And then just pull that off the hook and pop it onto your bench there. So, right, can you see us there? And you can, yeah. Bring yours in a little bit Don't there. Now uh, sometimes it feels as though it's a bit sticky, but it, it'll be fine. Yep. So pop that onto there. A little bit of flour on your hands, not too much. Yep. And now we're going to knead this. So we're going to hit it with the peel of our hand, mm -hmm. push it out, and pull it back. And just keep doing that. And the, the texture you want, those of you that have had kids and you've changed nappies, it's the, <laughs> the, the kind of the baby's bum thing. So when it feels nice and silky, then it should be ready to go and, uh, and these are pretty good already because these kitchen eggs are great yeah. for doing this. So. And if you didn't have a kitchen egg you'd just do just it by hand. Yeah. No, I haven't got a kitchen egg at home. Yeah. Actually don't have one so yeah I've got three kids so I figure that can be their job. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but this mixture here, so this 300 grams of flour, that's going to make a pizza base for four people quite easily. So when we divide that into four that will make four pizza bases, it will make an easy six or seven naan breads. Yeah. And, uh, and it will probably make, once it's risen, mine will probably make a, a decent sized sourdough when it comes out. I always wanted to make sourdough. Well sourdough, sourdough, rather than using yeast, what you do is you make a starter culture. So that culture is, um, usually in kitchens we make it by getting some flour and water and just leaving it on the shelf overnight until okay. it starts to bubble. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we use that as a starter culture, so that's like a natural yeast okay. there in it. Can you feel like that's nice and silky now? Mine's a little bit sticky still. Is it? I think so. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, the harder you hit it, the, uh, the happier it is each time. I think what my teachers used to say about me at school, actually. <laughs> we used to have a cane when I was still at school. Really? So, yeah. And he would cane us for anything. I think I got the cane for right on desks. Oh, really? That, yeah. Just don't write on desks. Just, well, you know what? He did the trick because I got six strokes of the cane for writing on a desk. Wow. And I never, lot. ever wrote on a desk again. No, that was that's it. That's it. <laughs> I got grounded by my dad. And the cane. A tongue lashing from my mom. <laughs> that and was the cane that did it. And I never wrote on a desk again. So I don't know. I'm not advocating to go back to the cane. No. <laughs> okay, this one's pretty good. I reckon it looks pretty good too, actually. It doesn't look exactly the same as yours, but it's kind of not. It's kind of so that's really nice and silky there. So while I'm needing that, I'm going to do a couple of things with this one. So, just going to pop that one in half. And I'll do two different things here. So if I wanted to make this into a, a breadstick, I can just roll it out like that. Yeah. And that's probably going to double or treble. Oh, really? Yeah. Rises. So if I just make just a few little slashes on the top, pop that onto my tray, and then this one, I'm just going to put into like a cob loaf. Yeah. And those of you from the north yeah. of England will yep. know cob loaves. And then I'll just slash that one, and that one hopefully will double or treble again. Look at that, we get my phone. <laughs> The kids learning from home. <laughs> yeah, that, that one's boring, one of them. Okay, so I'm going to pop that into my warming cupboard. So, if you don't have a warming cupboard at home? Uh, probably above your stove. Yeah. So just cover it with a tea towel and just leave it above the stove and have the stove on a nice kind of warm temperature. So yeah. it's just 
Yeah, if you've got a warm room, like if yeah. you don't have air con at home, I'd left the air con off in there today, you can yeah. feel it's a bit warmer. Yeah. And that makes the bread rise a lot quicker. So. Right, I reckon you're good now. Is that a bit sticky yeah, still? Yeah, no, that's great. You can put a little bit more flour down if you want, but that looks great. Right, I reckon we're going to get, let's see, should we start with about four and then we'll see how big they are? Yeah. Cut it into four? Yeah. Oh, no, I'll show you. Yeah. So I'm going to put a little bit more clay there. And I just want to start off with a small circle. Mm -hmm. and I've got your rolling pin over yeah. there. And then, when that's moving around quite freely, I just want to roll that up to the edge and back. Now, I probably should put a little bit of flour on my rolling pin as well, not, not too much. Up to the top and back. And just pull it off, that's it. And then turn it around, do the same on the other side. <laughs> it's alright, it's all good. That's and it. if you want, you can even do the little flipping up <laughs> thing like that. So, I'm not sure so I'd the be edge is going to go. You're just going to turn that around and just keep going. Can you see the bubbles coming up in it? Yeah. So this one here, look at see all these little Is it bubbles? meant to have bubbles? Yeah, so that's the yeast coming to life. And when we cook this in our pan to make the arm bread, mm. hopefully they'll turn into nice big airy bubbles. Oh, inside. okay, yeah, fine with that. Uh, I've got my little one there, she does these whenever I make the curry. She makes yeah. the curry paste for me, it's only grade seven, and she makes the arm bread, that's her part of Lovely. Okay, so that's one. I'd say that's, that's probably yeah. quite a good size now. So put it to one side and then you'll go roll well, another the one. Same shape as yours, but. It's alright. I mean, non -breads, non breads are kind of, yeah, they're they kind of pretty rust, anyway. rusty, can't they? Yeah. I love that when you get them in the Indian restaurants in the UK and mm. they're just so light. Yeah. Pretty good Indian food. Right, we're City that's just curry hazes. Oh, really? It's called Multi Belt. Ah. And basically, the front rooms of hazes have all just been converted into oh, really? restaurants. Oh, really? That's amazing. Fantastic. It's about five quid, about ten bucks for yeah. a, a great curry. And it'll probably be the best Indian oh, you get anywhere. It's fantastic, else. yeah. That one looks a bit better than the other one. Okay, so there's that. So I'm going to actually hold the camera by hand, I think, while you're, yep. while you're cooking these right. So, pop all of those on there. So, just throw them on there. And then we're going to take them over to the stove and yep. we're going to cook them up. So, let's go. Let's take them over. thought about that before I started. Look at this, uh, it's like a movie with the camera on a tripod. So let's see if how I, I can get you in there. Oh no, that's great. Yeah, if you can get near the stove and then we'll light that stove up for you. Just with this dry pan, 
is we're going to try and recreate a Kangal oven. Okay. So if you go to one of those um, great Indian restaurants, or even if you go to India, you'll see the tandoor ovens are buried in the ground. Yeah. And they've, put, they've got clay sides and they slap the bread on it. Mm -hmm. They don't put any fat on the bread. Okay. So they usually put the fat on at the end. So if you have a garlic naan, they'll put the garlic butter and, and, yeah. and the onions on the Yeah. So this is try, trying to recreate that. Uh, that tandoor oven. So what we've done, we've got the pans hot yeah. and we've and taken to put down. any powder oil in them. Turn it down and what we're trying to do now is just keep the heat the same. Yeah. So it doesn't get any hotter, it doesn't cool down. Yeah. And if we feel as though they're not browning, then we just turn it back on. Yeah. So I'll put one in and then we do the same thing. Yeah. So we'll just pop it into the pan like that.